In my last video, I talked a bit about recruiter tips when it comes to creating a really good portfolio to get you hired. But in this video, I wanted to talk a bit more about one of the tips where I shared that storytelling in your case studies is really, really useful and important. You might be wondering, how do you even tell a story with your portfolio? In this video, I'm going to be telling you how. When you tell a story, there's usually a start, a climax and an ending. So how that turns out in a case study is you want to start with a problem and when you're telling the story you want to build up as you are exploring and discovering a solution and how you resolve that climax is you closing and concluding really nicely how everything comes together in your case study. I hope that makes sense but let's dive a bit deeper. The first thing you want to talk about in your case study is the problem. To help recruiters or potential clients understand your problem statement, I think there are a few things that can be included. For example, the challenges that you face, the challenges that the target audience of the product faces, how this problem was discovered in the first place, how many people face this problem, just things surrounding the problem as long as you're able to really bring that message across and introduce the problem well in a concise way. Of course, there are ways you can do this as well. For example, bringing in a persona, bringing in a character, that's a really great method to make it sound more like a story as well. And once you introduce the problem, the next step is to talk a bit about your discovery or your approach to finding a solution. So in the UI UX design process, this is really the discovery phase where you do a lot of research, be it market research, competitor analysis, empathy mapping, user journey mapping, and a whole bunch of other methods, whichever you think is useful for the problem at hand. And as you are exploring all these methods, I think it'll be really important to note why you chose those methods and how one method led you to another method, what did you discover along the way? What insights did you find? It's kind of like a detective exploring a problem, understanding deeper and uncovering secrets and myths and mysteries. So I think that's a really good mindset to have when you're writing a case study and you want it to be very much like a story. If you're able to employ good language to bring that message across, recruiters are probably going to really enjoy reading your case studies as well. And of course, once you talk about the decision making process and all the UX methods, you'll also want to talk about how you convert all that research into the low fidelity prototype. So once you have the prototype in mind, it's in the going down phase already of the story. So you really want to resolve all the loose ends that you have in your entire case study. You'll want to talk about what worked, what didn't work, your takeaways. And of course, you want to talk about all the things that you uncovered as you tested your prototype as well. So that's the entire storyline for your case study. I hope it was really helpful. Just to summarize everything, here is an image which I illustrated. You can also download it from the nomadomy.com website, but it's just a simple illustration of how to make your case study like a story so that it's really cohesive and engaging for recruiters and whoever browses your portfolio. I hope this was helpful and do stay tuned for more freelance and design information and resources and content on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!